everyone this is my life from civil center and i welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on a very interesting topic so today we're going to discuss about sand filling and why sand filling is important in the building construction particularly below the pcc so before discussing about the importance of sand filling below pcc first of all we'll discuss the work process and and those of you uh, don't have any experience of the site so that they can have a basic idea of the work process so first of all, when the structural design is done and then when to it is to be executed at the site, first of all, we do the marking and after the marking for the footings, we do the excavation. So as you can see in this picture, the excavation is being done and uh, it, during the time of the excavation, it might be possible that, uh, you know, there is some water or uh, something comes up for that. We have to use the pumps to take it out. So, but after, you know, the thing is excavated properly, then we do uh, you know, 100 to 150 mm sand filling, depending on the conditions and depending on your structural engineer's recommendation as well. But why this 100 to 150 mm sand filling is done below the PCC? Why not the PCC is enough? So if you are thinking that what is the PCC, I'll also show you this. So after the sand filling, a layer of plain cement concrete in the ratio of 1 is to 4 is to 8 or 1 is to 3 is to 6 has is being put over and it is the surface is made plain and after having done that the position of the columns and also the footings is marked in it and then the footing and the columns are placed here so after they are placed here then we can go for the casting so this is the work process so that you can have an idea so first of all with the excavation then the sand filling then then the pcc and then the then the reinforcements uh after, this is the pcc and the reinforcements are placed and after that the casting of the concrete footing is done. So now we'll understand what is the importance of this particular sand filling, why this sand filling is done. So in case you had a, your doubts regarding this topic, all of them will be cleared in today's video. So let's check out the points. So first of all, a reason number one is that, you know, ECC provides a uniform bed. So what is this reason? Why, why we, they are saying that the PCC provides a uniform bed? Basically, as if you, if you just check the soil surface, which is below the ground level, it contains more clay and silt. So due to, because it contains more clay and silt, so it is not as uniform. So So it is a little bit rough surface, it's not as uniform. So to provide a stable base for the PCC, the sand filling is essential. So this is point number one. The next point, as you can see on the screen also, is vibration resistance. So why is this vibration resistance? Suppose you have a building and you have a road in, in front of that particular building and the foundation, uh, you are providing isolated footing and the foundation for the foundation also, you, provide, you have got very hard rock strata at four feet depth from the down level. So it is a hard rock strata and you're placing the PCC and the footing directly above it. So what will happen in the case of vibration, the impact will uh, go directly on the footings. But if we give the PCC of 100 mm to 150 mm thick layer, then the, sorry, if we do the sand filling of 100 to 150 mm thick layer, then that particular sand filling will act as a cushion, will act as a cushion to resist that particular vibration. So that vibration may be due to any uh, nearby construction, due to heavy vehicles in the road, or even due to earthquake. So this reduces or cushions the vibration. So for providing the vibration resistance also, the sand filling is done. And the point number three is, is, uh, is optional because it is it will be more done in places where, uh, you know, this termite or ui jisko kaya hindi mein, this termite is more dominant. So uh, in places uh, like some places like in Bhubaneswar also in Odisha, you see that there, there are, most of the places there is a lot of termite. So people, uh, most people, you know, do the mix the anti termite chemical with the sand filling below the PCC. So what it does is that it uh, closes all the voids of that particular sand and it doesn't allow all the, uh, you know, termites to enter your footing and uh, or enter your home. So, you know, it is also important in the places where the termite problem is more predominant in the areas. So anti termite treatment also we can do in the sand filling, but it is, in most cases, this is not common. You will not see that. but uh, if, if if you do it in the in that particular foundation level, it will be very useful uh, in, for your for your home to prevent the termites from attacking. The next thing is to prevent corrosion. 
so how does it prevent corrosion so we'll discuss so suppose uh, you have the you know, at the foundation level there are some chemicals like sulfide sulfides or other chemicals from the nearby sources but well, when a factory aapka there is a nearby factory or there is something so for from near from this nearby sources there might be some chemicals and which may be present in the soil and which can do the corrosion to your steel of the foundation so to prevent the corrosion also if we do the sand filling then it uh, the pcc which we have it doesn't come into contact directly with the coating now you might ask like uh, okay we are doing the pcc we are doing the coating casting then also we are applying the soil no we are not applying soil we are again apply the sand filling so the pcc or by coating is not coming in contact with the soil anymore it is coming uh, it is uh, filled by sand okay so that is a different topic so that's why to prevent corrosion also this sand filling is done the next point is very important and in most cases like in this case also the picture which i have i have shown you in this case it is applicable so you can see it here so it is to prevent segregation how does it prevent segregation how you might have like thought that why how this how can the sand filling be related to segregation segregation what is segregation segregation is separation of the constituents of concrete concrete mein kya hota hai what are the constituents of concrete in concrete we have our sand cement and caustic degrade so sand cement or stone chips you can say so the separation of this causes is called segregation so now what happens in the wet places like you see in this site also in the in the places where you have wet soil if you place the pcc or you know concrete directly on this particular wet soil what will happen the concrete will get segregated which will result in voids so the proper foundation or proper base for our foundation or reinforcement you know placing of reinforcement will not get which you are getting in this case so that's why we do the sand filling so i can see in this this is a picture of the same site you know after sand filling before sand filling and, and after sand filling after sand filling uh, the all the water is got absorbed and in the places where you have like this problem of water you can do extra like if the, if not by normal if we have 100 mm sand filling you can go 50 mm extra so that you can do in the places where you have little bit water coming out so this way by you know absorbing the water and not allowing the water to come up it helps to prevent segregation of the concrete which is used in the next step that is pcc so how did you find this video please let us know in the comment section because we try to uh, come up with more interesting videos for you and if you found anything useful in this video make sure you like it it helps it in our youtube algorithm and it helps it to reach more people and also support a lot of people who are working in our team thanks for watching